it is a wonderful day to wander and I am so excited because a we're gonna update you on what's happening with our lives uh, pros and cons of what it's like to be nomadic and not have a home base but today is a very special day Daniel does not know that I am recording this because it's his birthday and I have got so many fun local adventures planned for him and he thinks that like literally I have nothing planned. He thinks that I just went and got my hair done this morning and that like we're gonna go get coffee and lunch. So this is gonna be really fun to surprise him and bring you along today. Let's go. That being said, I have to make a note obviously back in the truck and we love this vehicle yes we have it posted for sale no i don't think we're gonna actually be selling it anytime soon but we haven't really decided on that one yet okay let's go get daniel all right coffee and lunch let's do it so many of you are probably wondering what the heck we've been up to since we were back in Nashville. And the reality is we've just been spending some quality downtime with family and friends. Um, mostly because after all the van craziness, we really needed it. Now that we've had a little bit of time to think, we're sort of rethinking everything, right? We're rethinking van life, we're thinking what do we wanna do with RV life as a whole. Uh, and the answer to that question is we don't really know yet. Now, we've got this upcoming trip to Germany, which is going to be so much fun. Uh, but once we get back, things are kind of up in the air. So it should be interesting to say the least. So what do you think about our life right now? I think that one of the biggest perks about being back and being with friends and family is that we actually have help with baby Dash and he is hanging out taking a nap with Gigi right now so we can go have a mommy and daddy coffee and lunch for Dino's birthday so that's a huge benefit of being back home and like that you can't even put a price tag on that yeah, Lauren brings up a really good point. It has been a huge help having Gigi here um, with Dash. So that's kind of brought up a lot of ideas that we may have about maybe creating some sort of stationary. I know that word kind of uh, makes me ill even thinking about it, but uh, because we like to move so much, but something stationary that we can have maybe here, maybe in Florida, and then we can branch off of there. It would be good to maybe have a, a home base and then do offshoots from there. Uh, but then again, you know, we haven't really had anything like a home in uh, a little over five years. We've been full-time travelers. So um, that would be a little bit of an adjustment. But that being said, uh, considering there may be in the future for Lucky, a baby number two down the road, um, having some proximity to Gigi and grandparents would be a huge win. So we'll see what happens. What are you doing? Uh, a really impressive in the parking job. Uh, big city truck problems uh, is a thing, but just paying to park.
All right, we found a beautiful park here in downtown Nashville and we're just, uh, just relaxing. Yeah. So back to life goals. I feel like at this point, we've got to make some drastic changes because uh, the current trajectory is just seems to be towards uh, service centers and uh, we, <laughs> we don't want that. So there are definitely pros and cons of having a, a brick and mortar house. There's pros and cons to living out of Airbnbs, which we've done for years as well. Uh, we've lived various lifestyles at this point. So we have a lot of, I would say you have, the more things you experience, the larger your database of knowledge is, the larger that knowledge pool is to draw from. So there are a lot of new faces on our channel. So if you're new here, first of all, we're so pumped you're here. Thanks for hanging out. Um, but to set the stage, we had, like I think Dan mentioned a minute ago, we've been traveling for about five years. And when we decided that we were gonna start traveling, we literally went the like insanity level minimalist route, sold the car, sold the house, sold the whole line, um, and haven't had a home base since then. So there are tons of people who travel full time and have a home base. We just haven't been one of them because we looked at it and we're like, well, we could spend more money on travel and like put more money back in savings and you know, not have a home if we're not going to be there. But now, now that home base um, is looking a little bit more attractive. Not getting, not ending full time travel to say the least, but just like not being stuck going to mom and dad's house to rescue us if one of the, one of the RVs isn't working out. Or both. <laughs> or both. <laughs> We just got our Nashville hot chicken sandwiches and they look fantastic. I mean, check out these fries. Uh, yummy. What do you think? I think it's going to be hard to bite into that. It's a very tall sandwich. It is a very tall sandwich. <laughs> right. I don't know how to put it into perspective here. Um, uh, here, I know how to do this. Oh, I got oh there you go. Okay. okay. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Sandwich versus face. Yeah, there you go. That's some good perspective. That is a very big sandwich. <laughs> And a very lovely face. Hmm. All right, here we go. First bite of the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. We're going in. <laughs> Did you get it? It was good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Nice. All right, thoughts on lunch overall? I give it. How many flamingos? Three and a half out of five flamingos. Nice. It's good. I really enjoyed it. Come back. Okay, just dropped Daniel off at his surprise massage. He was so surprised that like, he was in charge of the camera and he like totally set it down. He's like, what is going on here? <laughs> so he's gonna go get a massage. I booked it for two hours because everybody's always telling me anytime we go to a massage that he needs more time um, because he tends to be really tight because of all the marathons that we run. So I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna check on baby Dash and then I'm gonna go pick him back up and we're gonna continue on our adventure for the day. Hi, buddy. Did you miss me? Yeah. Bella. Okay. I missed you. Yeah. Are we ready to go get Dad Dad Dash? Should we go get Dad Dad? Are you sleepy? Is Gigi being crazy on the other side? Okay, Dash, we made it to get Daddy. What are we doing? Are you doing drive, drive, drive? This is his new favorite thing. He literally wakes up in the morning and he goes, drive, drive, drive. And he does his little hands like this. It's so cute. Do you want to show him drive, drive, drive? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Just waiting on Dada. Yeah. Try 
Drive, Drive, Drive also consists of hitting all the buttons. Good job, Dash. Oh, do we need to turn on the music so you can dance, Dash? Yes, okay. Dash man. That was amazing. Um, I feel like every time we go for a massage, we always book like an hour massage. And then when I'm on the table, they're like, you should really book like an hour and a half or two hours. Or like, did you know that we even have like a four hour option, but it's kind of like a secret thing. Um, I didn't know that. That's what a massage therapist told me that they do when they sometimes book other massage therapists, they can book like a four hour session. And I was like, yes, all of that. Like I could spend like eight hours uh, with massage places, but um, the smaller places sometimes have like the best uh, or offer the best massages. And this is a good example of that because um, yeah, they just, I mean like, I don't know what to say. It's just, it was really, really good. I'm super, super relaxed. Probably babbling a little bit. I probably dozed off because it was two hours. So, well, no, I did doze off. It was two hours. So I definitely dozed off a couple of times, but I was that relaxed, you know? It's great. You ready for our next adventure? Yeah. Let's do it. So, what Daniel's really saying is that he thinks, like, my bougie spas aren't as great as, like, the hole in the walls <laughs> like these. And, you know, we've been to a couple of hole in the walls across the country, or not just across the country, across the world, and he's usually right. Look who woke up temporarily. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna go back right, right to sleep. Alright Dee, so you got guesses on what we're doing? Where we're going? <clears throat> How many guesses do I get? One. One. Dash utter golf, so that could be top golf. If I had to guess, I would probably say a brewery. That's my guess. I don't know. We shall see. I'm gonna give Daniel directions here, which is probably not a very good birthday gift because I kind of suck at giving directions, but it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so I can't wait to show you guys this place because I've never been and neither is Daniel, but it is locally owned and he has no idea what it is, which is really, really fun. But before we go inside and there's music playing and all the fun stuff, ah, we have true. to tell you, we have some really big news that you are going to be really excited about if you've been following along with our journey. What is it, Dave? As you guys know, we've moved over to the van. The van is currently, uh, let's just say, under the weather. But the good news is we never got rid of the Airstream Classic, so. We're gonna go back and get it. We're gonna go back and pick up the Airstream Classic and we've got the truck. We never sold the truck. We took it off the market, so we've got that as well. Um, because there's no ETA on the van and honestly, we're not feeling really good about it right now. We're gonna go back to the Classic until everything and just I think everything will just have to work itself out the way it, it's supposed to. Because, Daniel, what did you tell me earlier? You said yeah. for your birthday this year, which BTW, how old are you? 47. 47. So if you saw our last episode, we didn't tell you what our 80 different was, yeah. difference was. And if you weren't following along with the premiere chat, you wouldn't have seen 
I'm 35. Daniel's 47 as of today. So we have a 12 year age gap. 11 years, 10 months. <laughs> so for those of you who get yeah. us, good job. Um, <laughs> but what did you tell me for your birthday this year? The one thing that you wanted like your word of the year to be? Stability. <laughs> so we're gonna go get the Airstream Classic because it's stable. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and we'll just figure out everything from there. Okay, but come on in. You have to see this place. Okay. With a memorable birthday on the books, let's say the day was a pretty big success. As to what we'll be doing with our lives next, maybe Dash will become a professional bowler? <laughs> but in all seriousness, we'll keep you updated as we know more. But until next week, my friend, make sure you wander local. Because as you know, it's good for the soul.